Guys, before I get this video started, I, I want to thank you guys for all the likes and for all the comments you've given me on the two um, giveaways that I have, the Star Wars and the Funko one. Uh, loved a lot, a lot of the comments. Appreciate you hitting that like button and uh, making those comments. So what I'm going to do is, you know, I know we said at 50, but you know what? We've gone long enough. Um, I have a Funko mystery box coming up very, very soon. So stay tuned. Um, on that next mystery, Funko mystery box, I am going to be selecting a person from the Funko video to get the three Hulks. And then I'm going to choose somebody from the um, Star Wars video to give away that A-Wing too. So stay tuned. Hit that subscription button. If you haven't yet, hit that, make a comment on those two videos so you get entered into the um, giveaway and smash that like button. Of course, hit that subscription uh, button so that way you get notified of the most recent videos. What's going on guys? Mr. Techbot here. Got another tech review for you guys here today. Um, this is something that I've been looking at for quite a while. Um, you know, if you're, you know, you got a family like mine and you guys are out and about doing stuff, you know, you could be out and about all day. Um, this is something that, you know, kind of my inspiration for kind of trying this out. It is the, uh, Yellman solar charger. It's supposed to be able to go out all day and that way you can charge your phones, your products, whatever it is you need. Um, now before I get into some of the details, I do have an Instagram out there put notice that right down here of how to how to find me hit me up on instagram also if you have any comments on this any questions uh, feel free to leave a comment down below and smash that like button uh, if you like this if this is something that uh, you or your family could could benefit from that hit that like button and as always hit that subscribe button down below and after you're done hitting that subscribe button hit that bell next to it so that way you get notified of the most recent videos that i have coming out all right now down in the next cranny, what what is this? It, it's it's Yel again. I probably probably am saying this incorrectly, but the Yelman uh, Solar Charger Pack, <laughs> I guess is what we could call it. What it's classified as is a 2,000 milliamp portable outdoor waterproof mobile power bank. Whew. Okay, um, it has uh, a dual USB, uh, uh, five volt, one amp slash two amp output, and as well as a two LED flashlight with a compass. Okay, basically what they're saying is, it's a power bank. Um, 2,000 milliamps can charge quite a bit with 2,000 milliamps. I think you can probably get, you know, maybe about two phones charged and stuff like that with this, uh, maybe more. Um, 2,000 milliamps, pretty good size, um, but it has the two USBs. It has a US, uh, micro USB for charging if you want to charge it right from the wall, but, the real benefit I got from it is because it's got solar. Now it should be able to do solar. Uh, instead of you know going around trying to find a place to plug in your power banks when you've already used them, or if you do you know fuel rods, going to find a fuel rod machine. This way, it's already there. Um, it does have the battery if you're using this for an outdoor, maybe a camping situation. You, know, you could be out camping and and you still got your products. You can start uh, you know charge this on the solar, power up your products at night. You got a flashlight. You got a compass. It comes a little hanging case or carabiner for you to hang on your um, your, your backpack or whatever. All right, and so now this I did I did get this the other day, and as you can see, I drained it all the way down. So why did you drain it all the way down? Because I want to test out this this solar, and what we're doing is my family and I are getting ready to head out to. Uh, to SeaWorld, we're gonna go do the, um, you know, take the kids to the Halloween thing they got going on, but we're gonna be out, outside all day. So I'm gonna hook this onto our stroller and I wanna see how quickly this thing will charge, kind of as, as a test type thing. So that way I can, you know, bring this back to you guys and, and tell you really if it's worthwhile. So I'm not gonna give my rating just yet until, you know, I see what it, what it can do. Um, see, it does charge pretty quick. It does come with a, like, I think a half a charge when you get it. Before we head out, some last quick tech specs. Again, it does have a very durable, um, rigid frame on it to where uh, even if my two-year-old grabbed it and threw it, it would, um, I think it would, it would stay strong without, you know, any problems. 
Um, the uh, one thing I did find out was the flashlight, you do have to be able to hold, hold it on for a little bit to get the flashlight to work. It's got the different senses on there. Um, they did have a warmth tip on there with, I guess, with the charging element of the solar. Now, they claim it's for emergency use only, but that's really not what people are using this for. People are gonna go out and buy this because they wanna be able to have the solar charging to be able to charge on the go. Um, now, they did say that, of course, charging can vary depending on um, the different conditions, whether it's day, night, of course, whether it's summer or winter, whether it's, you know, it, it all depends on the different solar intensities in which that you have out there. Now, I live in Florida, so we get a lot of sun. So I would imagine we're gonna get probably, a our solar rays are gonna be a little bit stronger than let's say someone that lives in Canada. Um, and just to guess, I've never been to Canada, so I don't know. But you know, um, again, the intensity and the, 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 the quickness of charging depends on uh, the amount of sun and, and the intensity of sun that you guys have. So we're gonna go ahead and take this, we're gonna head out to the park and we're gonna, I'm gonna show you, we're gonna clip this right onto the stroller and we're gonna see how, how quickly this can go from absolutely nothing to fully charged pretty quickly to where we can start charging our, our products. Um, so let's go up. My uh, cellular charge, the cool thing I noticed about this as soon as I took this out and it sends the sun, lights already started going on. It's already started charging without even me trying it. I don't know if you can see the lights there. So that's a good sign already. Hopefully it should charge up pretty well. I drained it completely before I left the house. So let's give it a try. Let's get through the day. One thing I did want to point out guys, it is hot out here. So the plus part, as I talked about earlier, the sun intensity is going to give this charge a faster charge or not. So it is hot. The sun is up. There's some clouds in the sky. So of course that'll probably hinder it a little bit, but Florida sun, Florida in October, it's hot. going on guys we are done for the day um, and so we we charged this thing we had this thing hanging off of our stroller all day uh, so we were probably out of the parks for about maybe four or five hours uh, all sun we were outside the entire time I think we spent just a tiny bit inside the building and I brought it back to the car I would think five hours worth of charging I should get at least something uh, from the solar be honest with you i i think it still shows it's charging because it sees sun but when i tried charging things in it only got one light um try charging my iphone try charging my ipad um you know didn't really get much of a charge didn't mean much so i would think right now you know I'm, i'll keep playing with it and if if i change my mind in the future then you know i'll change my mind in the future but right now i don't necessarily know if i recommend it um maybe if i give it a full charge and it'll help keep the charge i mean that that could be different but if you're going from a dead 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 to trying to charge it i don't know um doesn't seem to be you know the solar doesn't seem to be holding that well or maybe it takes a lot longer to to charge it off of so solar i mean maybe that thing was talked about with emergency use for the solar i don't know but I don't know why you'd get a solar charger if you're not gonna try to charge it off the solar. So there's a lot of out there like this that you know I may try in the future. Uh, there's other ones that you guys suggest to try. Comment down below, uh, anyone, anyone else that you know had thought about it, comment down below, let me know. But as far as the uh, yellow men, I don't necessarily 100% um, recommend it as of right now because if you're gonna use it for a solar charger, um, I don't know if it's gonna work. Now, if you're gonna just have it plugged in, get 20,000 uh, 20, milliamps with a full charge, okay, I mean, at, at, let's just put it as a charger, or a phone charger, and you're probably pretty good, but you're gonna have to power it up on the wall. Um, using a cellular, uh, solar charger, eh, probably not. All right, guys, um, as you can see, I, uh, I was gonna end my video about the, the Yellman um, solar battery bank. Um, you know, uh, just before this. And I figured I, I'd added a little bit more information. Now, I, I, I 
took this that night when I got home and I wanted to see how well it worked just as a power bank. And I went home, I charged it up off the wall for about three hours and I took it that night. Well, I went to go plug my iPad into it. My iPad was kind of low that night and it didn't even fully charge it and it was already dead. So I was really, really disappointed uh, overall. But I started reading a little bit more. I said, you know, let me read a little bit more about the from the ad and, and everything. And it does state that in there that on the first time you get it, you should charge it for eight to 10 hours um, on the first charge. I guess it's supposed to activate the solar capabilities or whatnot. Um, so I did that and it does it, you know, cause if, if there's, there are calculations out there where you can do to figure out if you got a 20,000 milliamp, how many times you should be able to charge an iPhone, be able to charge an iPad, an iWatch, whatever, whatever you want to charge there are calculations cause there's only so much uh, voltage or sorry, there's only so much uh, milliamps you can charge within a, a device. So, um, I mean, with 20,000 milliamps, I should be able to charge my iPhone at least five to six times. You know, I did give it the eight to 10, did try it again. Um, does work very well as a power bank. Um, fortunately, continue to read a little bit more. They did even start to point out again, I know I said earlier in the video, don't worry about the whole emergency thing. <sighs> Disappointed. Um, that's what they're claiming it as. The solar is for an emergency situation from what they claim. Um, claim on depending on the intensity of the sun. If you just tried to power this whole thing off of the solar, it would take five to seven days. Five to seven days. Really? If you're going to sell this and claim a solar charger on the label, make it a solar charger. This is nothing but a power bank with a solar panel to give it a small trickle charge when it's fully charged. That's it. No more than that. It's not a solar charger. It's a solar charger. You should be able to power this bank off the sun and that way you save on energy and that way you get green. So this is nothing but a power bank and that's what I'm going to claim it as. I still don't recommend it. You guys decide to do what it is that you want. If you need a good 20,000 milliamp charger, go ahead, go for it. That's all I am using it for. Um, but I am going to continue on the search for a actual solar charger because that's something I need. It's part of being green. Everybody's going solar. And a lot of times being out in the family, stuff like that, things being charged, you know, having the solar hooked to the stroller like I did and letting that thing charge is going to be very, very helpful. So. I know that there's somebody out there that's made one and I'm gonna find it. Post a comment down below if you've had it, if you've had any different recommendations that you can change my mind. Because right now, no, it's a bust. All right, guys, um, as always, comment, like, subscribe, and uh, unleash your inner nerd. Have a good one.